Okay, so in this video, we are going to still going to use the method of integration called integration by parts to evaluate an integral. So this is example number four. We are going to evaluate the integral x squared ln of the square root of x dx. So as you can see, the integral here is a product of an algebraic function. We have an algebraic part x squared and a logarithmic function ln squared of x dx. So remember that integration by parts is applicable if our integrand is a product of algebraic and transcendental or product of transcendental functions. Okay, so from our acronym, L comes first before A, so we are going to set L as our U and A as our DV portion. So we let U be equal to ln square root of x. Finding the differential, that would be 1 over square root of x times 1 over 2 square root of x dx or du is equal to 1 over 2x dx. Now remember that u should be chosen such that it is easily differentiable. Now our dv portion, dv portion is the algebraic part x squared dx so dv should be chosen such that it is easily integrated we are going to integrate that integrating v is equal to one third x cube okay so we are going to use this relationship and this relationship and substituting to the formula for integration by parts so we have u our u is so we also still need to use need to use u. Okay. So u is ln square root of x. V is one third x cubed minus the integral of v, which is one third x cubed times that's v du, which is one over 2x dx okay that's u v minus integral of v d u okay that's the formula so rearranging this it would be one third x cube ln of the square root of x minus multiplying the constants we get one sixth integral of simplifying we have x cubed and x in the denominator so what's left is x squared dx so that is already integrable one third x cubed ln of the square root of x minus one over six and integrating that's one third x cubed plus c one third x cubed ln of the square root of x minus 1 over 18 x cubed plus c and that is our final answer so this example is a product of algebraic and logarithmic function we are going to solve another case in the next video